let's create the custom step so I'm gonna go to my sublime text oh well first let me create it so I'm just gonna call here new scripts post and I'm gonna call this one um, 03 I I'm just numbering like this so it's easier for you to to follow the steps and the videos and so on but you don't need to follow I mean to, to number it like this maybe in some situations you want to change that so that's something that bear in mind but just for the for this uh, workshop for this uh, uh, tutorial I'm just numbering like this it's uh, a bit easier okay so this one is gonna be um, mouth slide and because I name it like this now it's gonna be also internally named 03 month mouth slide but I'm gonna change that, that later so the name of the file and the name of the internal and like name of the custom step doesn't need to be the same so I have it here I'm just gonna edit here so I have this so you can see here I have this um, 03 mouth mouth slide I'm just gonna remove this one and I'm not gonna type everything I have already prepared some kind of like the previous uh, like tutorial that I never did that I have everything ready here so I'm just gonna copy paste and explain everything and adapt it to maybe a little bit to make it be better so the first thing it's the run so we're gonna we're gonna copy paste here all this so and I go one by one so we have the setup run that I take the facial base and create my um, step dictionary and then I'm gonna create the uh, duplicate geo so for duplicate geo in this custom step the only part that we need is the the head so I have here my other method that duplicates the geometry and it's taking the head from um, base facial base so we have here facial base um, boom, boom, boom. it's head geo so it's gonna create one copy of this one only one I don't need the eyes or anything because we only work with the the face geometry okay so that's it for duplicating and now I need to get the ghost structure so that's the most uh, complex part that it's this big uh, method here and I'm just gonna copy straightforward but let me go line by line and explain you everything so first things first we need to import rig bits and ghost and blend shapes and well indeed I'm just gonna copy straightforward all the header here so okay so I don't use in this yet and this yet but we will use it later so no worry so we have imported rig bits that we're gonna use for some stuff and the ghost you remember we saw the ghost model already so for the ghost structure the first thing it's um, I'm gonna create this um, level or interpose control between the upper and lower uh, lip control so if we have here this and let me show you the guide so we have the mouth component here and this mouth component creates two controls one on top of the lip and another on the lower part of the lip so this is the, the controls that we are referring here so the component is called mouth z0 so we can ensure here is mouth z0 so that's correct and it's going to create an interpolate uh, look, uh, transform so what it's an interpolate transform well if you go to mgear rig bits you have this interpolate transform uh, here so basically what it does it's if I take let me take two cubes here very simple and I select both and the first one selected is the parent of the interpolate transform but it's not really important it's just like a, a default place to store it but you can indeed change it so it's going to create the interpolate transform what is this interpolate transform it's here you cannot see it because it's a transform it doesn't have shape but if we go for display um, transform display local rotation axis so you can see here the axis so basically 
what it's doing is interpolating these two post world positions or transformations. Well, the scaling is not visualized here, but you can see it later that it's also scaling. So that's it. And what it does under the hood is if I, it's just a matrix multiplication between the two world transformations and plug it here. So we saw that on the 101 section and I think that's, um, that's gonna be easy. Okay, so now that we have this clear, so this is what it's doing here and then it's gonna rename this interpolate transform so to have very naming and it's called with extension int that I made up for interpolated. You can put whatever you want. Then we have the create uh, ghost controls. So we have the mouth slide and mouth corner left and right. So it's gonna create this um, sliding effect. And so we have this, 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 and to so create ghost. Now we, after creating the ghost, we're gonna change the parenting. So this is what I was saying before, like. These controls, where are you? These controls here are in the root of the guide, so we want to reparent that on top. And then now that we have this change, the parenting, so we have all this parent this on top of this. So the most corner is gonna be under most slide. That is the first one. The most slide is gonna be in the root. Blah, blah, blah. And then it's gonna create the um, go to slider, the uh, slider itself. So here in the facial base, we have surface slide, or slider. That is the the uh, the geometry that we just created. And I was saying like this can be used maybe in another custom step. So I don't want to rely on this custom step to have it load on my scene. I want to have it on the base. So later, if any custom step wants to use it, we can reuse it from there. So it's important, the organization here. So we, we go for the facial and um, check it out here. We don't have import of our uh, surface yet. So again, I'm gonna go here to my uh, previous my custom step from the previous one, so I'm gonna copy paste this one. So import surface, step dictionary, and of course we don't have the method, so we're gonna import the surface here. And same thing we did for import skin in the previous videos. Um, this was done two years ago when I was start preparing this this class, and I changed quite a bit how I work and this is way more cleaner now so we don't need the path anymore and this is gonna be to the asset path um, yeah assets path here so we don't need this so just gonna go straight here and here's the path data I think it's asset oh, let me delete this so we don't need this folder and this one here and here is I think it's assets or assets I never remember just double check it's the other way around asset path great so just gonna this like this and fix a little bit my uh, uh, like text so it's easier to read so the surface slider is called mouth slide surface. This is not the way I name it now. Now it's called sliding surface. So you can see there is no strict rules. You can name it as you want. So the surface slider visibility falls. I don't want to see it. And the surface slider now is gonna be child of the facial local setup. That the facial local setup is already set. Okay, cool. So we have this imported in another custom step. So now on the multi slider, we can access this. So this is facial base, double check, facial base, boom, boom, connections. And now um, we have this imported, then I'm just gonna connect this scaling. So because we need to also to connect this scaling to ensure that it works well with the um, 
scale up the setup. So to do that, connect attributes. So we're gonna take the mouth slide control scale, and I'm gonna connect with the scale of the uh, mouth slide here of the component. So we have this ghost control that is not connected yet. So last, I'm just gonna connect the um, booker. So this that goes out the the the, um, the lips I'm just gonna connect it also for translation Z so this is gonna translate in Z also okay so cool we have that ready so this is all the ghost structure and now we're gonna go and um, add some extra some extra things here so I'm just gonna go to my previous and after the ghost structure that is there, I'm just going to run the import skinny. So again, I'm just going to run my import skinny. But for the moment, we don't have the skinny. We need to do it in the next video. So I'm just going to comment out this one. So the first time we build, we build without the skinny and we will do the skinny manually, export, uncomment this line, and build again. So that's it. And last, this explanation here that I'll explain later. So basically, this part here, it's gonna connect my new sliding system to my com uh, my uh, proportions uh, local rig. But we don't want to do that always. This is something that later, when we do the corrective plane shapes, we do we need to change the order that we connect. So we're gonna keep it for the moment. So it connects and we can see the evolution of the rig, but later we're gonna comment this line. And this long explanation here is to remember you that this is something that is gonna be temporal, then later when we use plugin shapes, it's gonna be removed and we're gonna change the order of connection, not the building order. So this is gonna be connected, uh, I mean commented, and in another custom step, we will connect later. So we will just call the same uh, method but from another custom step that is built later. So that's it. So I'm just gonna format again correctly my text. I have a hotkey on Sublime to do this. So it's like Pepe style, it's a bit more cleaner. And the connect, that's the last one here. So I'm just gonna connect this again, indentation. So here is my blend shapes, connect with blend shape. This is important, we're gonna use this a lot. So basically what it does is connect one blend shape, uh, one uh, object to another through a blend shape. So it's a it's keep a live connection and set this channel to one. So it's always uh, activated and transfer the local rig deformation from one geometry to another. So this is just proportions head. This is where we want to connect and or head or local head on this custom step that is the one that we just duplicated here okay so that's it for the custom step i hope i didn't mistake anything or the names are correct that's important and surface slide just one thing surface slides um just double checking oh yeah it's called surface here just I recall it that I didn't update this as you can see I changed my names in every project or from time to time okay so now that we have this let me delete again the rig and everything and let's see what we have doesn't find this stop one second I did a couple of mistakes on the build and let me point you where I did it. So the first one is that I did copy twice this line. This is what happened when you copy paste. And the first one, the step dictionary import skin was not uncommented or commented. So I'm just going to delete one and keep the one that it's commented. That was the first mistake. So when I build it, it was like complaining that there is no skin. Of course, we didn't make it yet. And the other one, it was just an indentation problem here. When I copy paste, this was like 
uh, with the wrong indentation so I I just fix it so now that these two issues has been fixed I can build hopefully it's not gonna fail again and now we have the um, the um, local rig ready to continue with this skinning that will be the next step so I'm just gonna hide this you can see here we have proportions and we have this mouth skinning this is the one that we're gonna we're gonna work uh, sorry mouth sliding that have this mouth slide geometry here and then we have the slide root and these sliders and we have the sliding surface here that is in outside this uh, local custom step and it's in the top uh, local setup for the face so in terms of uh, behavior if we go back to let's say let's hide this let me hide this and the guide and you can see here that I have this control now that can be moved and even the control can be separated from the geometry you can see that these um, side elements here are sliding so now we can slide the mouth and when we push out you see this is gonna get out even it's also sliding you see here how the curvature how how it's going and same here so you can see it's sliding on the side but just pushing on C so it gets the poker working so that is what we want now in the next video we will see how to create the skinning really quickly and see all the results plugged to the final uh, uh, final uh, local rig that is the, the proportions and yeah let's do it